Andre here again uh, with Wayne and Wayne I want you to discuss about choking we hear that term all the time whether it's from athletes parents or coaches what do we mean when we talk about choking choking is a general term that refers to a player that underperforms under pressure it's compared to what the competition is bringing versus what the batter in this case might be bringing uh, to the situation. So what could be some of the causes that, that brings an athlete to not be able to perform under pressure when it's time to do that? Well, it could be anything varying from subtle changes in their swing to the way that the athlete's actually being pitched in a certain situation. It might be preparation. They may not have really got a good signal from you know the bench in preparation for going to the next at bat against that pitcher and it might be something as subtle as an injury that hasn't been detected right and we know that baseball is a game of failure also so that doesn't mean and correct me if i'm wrong if let's say you have bases loaded two out and you strike out it doesn't mean that you choked right well that's right i mean baseball is a game of failure like you said hitting 300 is pretty uh, that, that puts an athlete pretty much high up on the uh, stat scale when it comes to, uh, you know, statistically speaking in baseball. You've coached internationally. What are some of the strategies you would use to help yeah. athletes and, not show? And I think it's important. It's part of our preparation also. And it all depends on where we're going. So I'll give you an example. If, we, uh, if we're going to Asia, we're going to Japan, and we know that it's going to be uh, really noisy and the crowd will be right into it and we're going to be playing in front of 15, 20,000 people. We know that we need to prepare to play with lots of distraction, distractions, especially noise. So we're going to practice with noise, music, loud music and everything so we can, uh, we are still able to communicate during the course of the game. Um, other, other way also, if we are hosting a world championship in Canada and we know we're going to be playing uh, prime time all the time at night, so I don't want to get you know, play, to find players find excuses because they've never played under the lights. So we're going to practice and play games leading up to the World Cup under the lights so they've seen it before. So it's all about preparation and making sure that they've seen this, the, the, this experience before they get to experience a real thing. Yeah, great comments, Andre. And again, preparation for dealing with choking, make sure you practice it. If you don't practice it, can't expect your athletes to execute under pressure.